Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler with TarverAcademy.com. And today we are going to learn how to collaborate using Google Docs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go into Google Docs. So I'm going to go to my waffle in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on my Google Drive. And once you're in here, um, we're going to just go ahead and um, we're just going to go find a doc. Here's a PLC meeting that I made up, it does not exist. See, that was me at a training I did for a professional development, and I just talked out loud. And so I'm going to delete this because I have no idea. See, that was me using voice recording, so I'm going to learn how to do that. Um, here we go. So we want to collaborate on this Google Doc. So what I'm going to do is in the upper right, I'm going to see this thing's called Share. That's where I can add people to collaborate with me. Um, the default is that it shows you right here who you can who can see the document. Right now, the permission is that anyone with the link can view. So if I send the link, anyone can see it. They can't change it, but they can see it. Um, now, I want to collaborate, so that means that I want someone to work on it with me. So if I know the specific people, I want to work on it, whether it's a group or an individual. I type the name of the group or the individual in here. So let's say I uh, want to send this to myself. Um, right here to the right of that, you'll see what access I'm giving myself or giving the person that I'm adding. Um, this one means they can edit it. This one means they can just comment on it. And this means they can view it. Um, so obviously with comment, I can, they can give me suggestions or their opinion on things or suggestions that, I just said that, but there's suggestions they can make towards me making the real ones. Um, that's good if like you're working on like a doc um, or a document and then you want other people's opinions, but you don't want them to mess with your work, um, that's a great one to do. View means they can just look at it. Now I want to collaborate, so I want to click the edit, the pin. Anytime you see that pin across the Google spectrum, it means edit. If I wanted to leave a little note in here, it'll notify and say, hey, check this out. So right here, I can tell whether I want to notify people or not. I do want to notify people because I want them to get an email. That way I'm, they know that I've invited them to this doc. If not, they might not even know that you've shared it with them. So I'll click send. Now I'm in there, so I'm going to scroll over here. I'm going to go to shared with me in my other drive, my other account. There we go. Now I am in it. So now I've shared it with both. So there I am. If you can see, look, you can see the other collaborators up here. So I can see who else is in there. Now um, I can start writing. Hello, there you are. And then in real time, they'll be able to see who's typing what and what they're typing. So it's really cool because you can collaborate with other people. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to, you click share. Then I'm gonna go down to advanced. See that right there? And I can choose who my collaborators are. So right now I've got my friend Matt in there. Um, I can delete him out of there. He doesn't need that access. I can change the other people from can edit to can comment to can view, all that stuff. So this is kind of like your hub for where people have access and what they have access to within this doc or the folder, whatever it is you're adjusting. Um, so there you go. Okay, cool. Now, also another thing you can do is right here where it says anyone has the link in view, I can click change. Now I can make it to where anyone has a link can they can edit. So I could literally just send the link out and anybody who had that link could edit it. So if you're sending it out district wide and you want everyone to have a voice or fill something out, you could do this. Now granted, that could lead to a lot of people editing and adjusting it, but there you go. So I'm gonna click save and done. Okay, um, if you wanna see who all has collaborated and changed the document up here, in your revision history, if you click this, it'll show you who. So my one account is called Tarver Academy and the other one is called Tyler Tarver. And you can see the dates, times, and who collaborated on what. So look, if I click this one, it even shows me the color. So Tarver Academy is in green. You can see that in green, my Tarver Academy account deleted all that. And purple is what the other account type. So it's really cool. Um, it adds a great level of accountability if you give this to your students and you tell them to all work in the doc, it's really nice because you can see who's actually doing the work. And principals can see that for teachers. So hope this helped. If you could subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks. Later. Bye.
Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. What, you want me to come train you on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.